David from Beats Antique, and uh, I'm very excited about a new project that just came out with a brand new album, and that project is called Dirt Wire. And right here, this is uh, my partner in Dirt Wire, Mr. Evan Fraser. Yeah, my name's Evan Fraser. I'm a multi-instrumentalist based here in the Bay Area. Good to be with you. Yeah, so I'm uh, excited to announce and uh, let out this brand new project it's called Dirt Wire that I've been working on with Mr. Evan Fraser for the past five, over five years now. We've, um, we started it as just like an idea to get it going with a couple tracks and, and now we've we finally finished an album. It's a self-titled album uh, called Dirt Wire. But we've been playing music for over 10 years, like 12 years maybe. Yep. We went to music school together down in LA, a place called California Institute of the Arts and that's where we met when we were young men back in the day <laughs> and uh, we've been hanging out ever since making music when we can so it's taken a little while because uh, I was real busy with Beats Antique and just trying to find time but we, we did it and we just did two shows at Symbiosis and uh, Lightning in a Bottle and we're really really proud to have this album out and it's you can download it for free or pay a donation if you're, if you're interested to me, I mean, to put it in a category, it's really hard because it's paving new ground, actually. I feel like it's in line with Beats Antique, with what Beats Antique is doing. It's kind of, if I had to describe Dirt Wire, I would call it back porch electro -cana because it's kind of got that back porch hanging out with your banjo and your slide guitar kind of feeling, your harmonica, but we're using the editing styles that we love so much that are in electronic music and bringing the organic element of all these organic instruments, combining them with the power of the laptop and sub basses and the sub basses. And I'm a multi-instrumentalist. I still, I have a degree in world music from Cal Arts and I've been collecting, I have over 200 instruments and of all percussion and different instruments from around the world that I've collected. and kind of taught myself how to play a lot of them. And I love to bring those in and see how those instruments relate to each other and make that make it work what sounds good. So yeah, Beats Antique uh, and myself have been going to festivals on the west coast over 10 years now and um, it's been really amazing to see how they've evolved over the past uh, 10 years uh, from Burning Man to uh, Symbiosis, Lightning in a Bottle which were definitely born out of the Burning Man culture <clears throat> and, um, and the underground electronic dance scene. So, but it's been really amazing to see how it's evolved and they've come into their own and they're very like substantial large festivals now that are really bringing together a lot of different aspects of art not just music they have a full visual um, especially down lightning in a bottle the whole galleries that they're doing and all the artists that they're working with it's really inspiring to see that um, also bringing consciousness and sustainability and workshops to the festival is a huge part of the I feel like the West Coast festival atmosphere so seeing that change and evolve and get more conscious has been really, really amazing. It's people I've been hanging out with and, and getting to know over years, so I have a lot of good friends in that scene. Just It feels like a, a big family, like it's a huge community that has been uh, living and working together for years, so it's really amazing to see it just get stronger. Mm -hmm. 